One final time we can check in with old homegirl, and I'm glad that she decided to do something so cataclysmically stupid, because I wasn't really, if we're going to be completely honest here, I wasn't really satisfied with my previous video that I put out, and the one that I thought would, you know, just kind of put this issue to rest, because it just kind of heavily involved a lot of prognostication, a bunch of reading tea leaves, and then also propping up somebody that I don't really like all that much. Like, yeah, it sucks. I have my principles. It I, That doesn't suck. Not that part, but the whole Britney Venti stuff, I don't like her. The fact that she, you know, paraded around and was just as celebratory when Andrew Tate got cancelled off of all the platforms and as H3H3 or L3L3, sorry, and Lasan Hobby. The fact that she was a banging the same drum as them, eh, it's like, ugh, kind of a dirt person for doing that, but she was at ground zero for all this stuff. She still cancelled off of Twitter because of what? Now it's just simply Eliza. She doesn't want to claim the blue anymore. How adorable. But it's nice, man. We can go check in to this scenario it's like putting on that old comfy blanket and we can all sit back and laugh at 2023's first inaugural lol cow because she's she's very very funny and there hasn't been oh there hasn't been quite a spurg fight like this in quite a long time like there's been a couple of issues that have popped off every now and again but just one woman at the center of something that just led to so many different sissy fights on the internet she definitely did that the best. That's probably going to be the highlight of her career, to be completely honest, because she hasn't really been hitting like that. Even if you just go back to her a main thread, we'll get back to this one. What has she been posting? Just a bunch of, like, I don't know, animal posts. Oh, something about Malcolm X. It's like, yeah, that's adorable and stuff. I don't know what that has to do with human trafficking. But once again, what was something that I pointed out at the beginning? Whenever one of these idiots just starts animal posting, bruh, you know exactly what time it is they know they got caught there's always something underneath that it's just weird so when it comes to what she's actually been doing since all of this stuff kind of reasonably died down well still trying to stoke those fires god she's just a she's just a lonely old lady out there you remember she's a 41 year old single lady it doesn't matter if you wrap yourself in all of the talking points of the right. If you think that that's going to save you, you think that a lot of those big talking heads in the conservative sphere wasn't going to mention or bring up your situation, you thought that that would provide you with some cover? No, no, no. A lot of us have a long old fucking memory. I have a team looking into bots. Oh, that's nice. That's adorable. Did you hire Chris Boozy? I hear he's really good at doing that. My name trending on and off for three weeks was an overplayed hand. I'm an an- Oh, I'm ancap. No, you're not. You're all about content moderation, you dork. But, okay, cool. Now, just another thing you can add on top of that. You also called yourself a libertarian. You also called yourself, I don't know, part of the community. And you felt blessed about that. I felt blessed. Oh, my God. You're just so fucking cringe. Ah, uh, the plan was to remove my seat at the table. Wait, what? Your seat at the table. Which one did you acquire? We, you thought you had a seat at the table? That's a bit telling in and of itself. Like, just these grandiose illusions of just how important you actually are. Bitch, you're just on Twitter, for Christ's sakes. All you do is just tweet out a couple of things every once in a while. You have no receipts. You haven't done anything. Everything that you claim to have done, that has been the work of other people. Oh, some other people got some CP material taken off of Twitter. That's nice. Then you can just swoop in at the last moment and say, well, I, I, I helped. I, I, I retweeted some stuff. I'm an advocate. An advocate who's going quiet on social media. Make that one make sense. But I'm the target of this, guys. God dedicate or decides where I sit. Oh, my God. Only Christ can put me on the throne. Fucking yuck. Uh, not Twitter bots, reactionaries, the ruling class, corporate press, or any government. Where do I fit in there? I'm just laughing at some spurg that's out here. And she's, once again, just, uh, this is such a perfect tweet for so many different things. Her just, once again, just trying to wrap herself in all the cool different labels that's out there. And it's like, bitch, you're 40. Get out of here. Nobody, nobody cares about you. You're an old finished thought. It's like, we, stop trying to clout jack somebody else who's not even referencing you at all whatsoever. Like, Hotep doesn't need to be running Defense Force for you. You were on his show once, maybe twice. Like, he's out there running a, a live stream. Okay, so what? happens when your favorite influencer falls for a psyop should they be forgiven let's uh discuss live now don't know what that's all about but the fact that she tried to hijack that and it's like come on you aren't hitting like that anymore i feel like merch if i'm not targeted or seen as controversial then i'm not doing enough 
oh so once again this was the whole i just want to be famous bro and you're latching on to anything that you can't i ain't she great ain't she great a bot farm purchased in an attempt to smear my name where can you provide receipts for that because i haven't seen that at all whatsoever you tried to have your boy over at tim's site to just try to paint it as my gang stalker but it ain't like that at all like just take a look Fifty-one thousand, just about fifty-two thousand people seen this post 126 likes you ain't hitting like that and if it was all a big bot campaign wouldn't they continue to be on there or was this just one of those weird 2021 day gimmicks Whatever. Bod Farm purchased in an attempt to smear my name simply showed me my worth. You don't actually want to break down your worth. That would make you cry. Maybe that would make you a victim five times over. I have been so effective that I'm worth destroying. It's just a self-inflicted. You did this to yourself. We just want answers. The people that are still left and cared about this that didn't get distracted by Tim Pool spurging out. You filed privacy strikes against 20 people on YouTube. You had dozens of pieces of content taken down just on YouTube. Over on Twitter, you got countless people banned off of the platform for posting your saggy, cellulitic, written ass. You got accounts temporarily banned. You got some accounts still banned at this point in time. But no, I, bitch, I know my worth. I am the table. So thank you for the compliment. Stop it. Yes, I didn't lose my seat at any table. That has value towards my overall goals for maximum freedom for all. Har hardy fucking har you can't make this up if anything the attacks towards me solidified my seat what seat are you talking about the one with the fist the fixed to the bottom of it like what are we doing here the individuals that i'm at the table with have faced the same attacks I'm trying to say that you were uh, hit up by the elites and the ruling class and the corporate press the government no, you're at the table with power make that make sense but no 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 she's she's going to be doing good work guys i'm working on a new project titled 2050 oh how adorable the last time you were fuckable and your real age that's that's a really good naming strategy that you have there i'm so inspired by this project see this is what she does she always announces something i'm really i'm really happy that i can go ahead and do the humanitarian house and never build it and then just fundraise off of it it's gonna be great though oh i'm a I'm a big human trafficking advocate, and did you know that there's this one thing that's out there on Twitter that somebody should look after? Wow, it would be a shame if somebody actually took care of that. Again, she doesn't do anything. She just announces stuff, takes credit for it. Maybe she does belong at the seat at the table with the rest of the government officials. Okay, I'm so inspired by this project, and I feel like I'm probably be working on it until my final days. No, please, please, don't be mentioning your final days. I want you around for as as long as possible because you are so funny it's intimidating but worth it go after what you love with passion other people that criticize you online and then just try to take them down i look forward to seeing what you create yeah just, just cultivate your army of simps that just don't care about you listen you, you ain't hitting like that okay but those two tweets came before this one that i seen yesterday just before or just after i released the third video of the day I've seen this little gimmick pop out and it's like, oh, really? And then the subsequent announcement, which makes so much goddamn sense. Previously, I was extremely accessible to many to communicate privately. Okay. Did the conversation normally start off with $500? Is that for a half hour or for the full thing? What's included with that is full service. Uh, but anyways, okay. Uh, this was very helpful and I'm grateful for that period of time that you did. What with exactly? Things have changed a bit. Help me, I'm under attack. I need strong men to help me. What was the quote again? We need to get that one, because that's my favorite tweet ever. I need brave men to stand up for me right now, please. I'm begging you. That's my favorite tweet ever. It's like, yo, normally if you're trying to milk simps, you don't go so overt about it. You try to stay covert, but, oh well, desperate times call for desperate thoughts. Um... If we are close, I'll reach out to you eventually with my new contact information. What was that again? I'm really happy about the new project that I'm working about. Oh, okay, but nobody talked to me. Okay, great. Request that we speak on the phone to avoid fakes and scammers. How adorable. How, how's anybody going to get a hold of you if you're telling people not to 
engage with fakes and scammers ask me a detail that only i would know <laughs> all right what's your name your age your location uh what you've done to previously acquire this position and what's your body count uh twitter dms are no longer a good way to get a hold of me because help i'm under attack Please don't ask folks uh, who I think that I'm friendly with to contact me. I don't even know who would be sticking up for you. Like, obviously, uh, you put the clarion call out there that you need brave men to help police your DMs. It's like, yo, you can get a Malaysian virtual assistant for like five bucks a day. I'm sure he can go ahead and, you know, try to extract as many resources as possible. The rest of the OnlyFans girls are doing the exact same thing. I'm sending you all love. I'm grateful for this new season. Ha hashtag, hashtag thankful, hashtag thank God. It's like, yeah, outside of this and animal posting, it's like this bitch has been uh, just totally goddamn irrelevant. But peak, but peak the timing on this. So 8.55 a.m. February 21st. So yesterday, first thing in the morning, she sends this out that nobody, uh, don't call me, I'll call you. And if anybody's getting a call from Eliza, they're just going to be like, yuck, I don't want to get stuck with that. But she sends this out in the morning. And I was like, what you want about? What's this? What's what's this all about? And then Mines. Oh, Mines sends this out. Eliza Blue has informed us that she will no longer be speaking at Mines Fest in Austin. Oh my God. She doesn't want to be held accountable for any of her treacherous, nefarious, backhanded, back dabbing comments she doesn't want to have to go face to face with any of the people at the tim studios uh, tim pool's little crew she doesn't want to meet up with people well yeah it's always awkward when you see somebody that's used to fucking public so i understand she doesn't want to go onto that uh, panel about content moderation because oh she's an ancap and a free speech absolutist she doesn't want to go to that open q a when people would be like yo uh they were just sharing screenshots of your the saggy ass um, why were people getting banned off of Twitter because of that? Why are people still theoretically banned on Twitter? Oh yeah, and Brittany Venti was trying to join up and uh, link up with this debate to make it happen. So why'd you back out on that one? Oh right, because uh, she's really excited about her new 20, uh, 2050 project. I'll, I'll, I'll just be working on it for like forever. So don't bother, don't, don't contact me for any more public appearances. I just want to take credit behind the scenes and not have anything that I do questioned. All right, but it's also funny. Okay, so this goes out, ooh, what, eight, eight hours later? It's funny. And then peak the time on this. So about uh, 20 to 6. I think that would be local to my time. You know what starts at 6 o'clock? Timcast. Timcast IRL starts. And who was on Timcast last night? Bill Ottman, uh, the founder of Minds. Fucking coincidental, I would imagine. Because you would have to address the elephant in the room. It's like, wow, so who's going to be at Mindsfest this year in uh, Austin at the Vulcan Theater on a Friday, April 14th and Saturday, April 15th? Wow, the whole Timcast crew is going to be there? That's great. And who's going to be on a, a, a panel? Oh my god, you're going to have Luke there. You're going to have Destiny. That's a woman's name. Uh, you're also going to have Ian. And oh, you were supposed to have... Eliza Blue there, and then she backed out before you could address it. I'm sure this was just all very coincidental, and that somebody is just once again trying to throw out some fucking conspiracy theory in order to avoid responsibility. It doesn't matter if they wrap themselves up in every single right-wing talking point. They take the God pill. They take the ANCAP pill. They take the Libertarian pill. Oh, we have all the cool talking points that's out there. At the end of the day, this is just another woman avoiding responsibility. The hardware might be different, but the software is exactly the same controversial activist Eliza Blue set to debate content moderation at Austin Free Speech Festival is out of there. Mines announced that Blue, who recently rose to notoriety during a scandal involving the veracity of her story, of her past, and the attempts to censor those who posed questions about it online, has pulled out of a live free speech event. No reason was immediately given for the cancellation. Oh, I just couldn't, I couldn't set up a GoFundMe in time to make it down there for mid-April. The live event, which was slated for April 15th at Austin's storied Vulcan Theater, will feature many notable names including contemporary free oh in the contemporary free speech movement that's what you want to call it that's interesting blue who is slated to appear gained uh, notoriety maybe you're missing there need a copy editor on that uh, uh gained attention uh 
speaking out about human trafficking. Yo, the tone has really changed from the post-millennial from when they first announced this controversial YouTuber, Eliza Blue, because they were kind of lapping her ass because post-millennials kind of in bed with this whole Minds event. We kind of navigated the spider web the last time we talked about this as well. And now they're just like, yeah, she just talks about this shit and doesn't really do anything. Uh, claiming that her empathy for the victims was based on her own experience, which was lacking to say the best. Uh, quickly turned to notoriety when she used her purported victim status to censor others. No, it was all a psyop. I'm a good man. Notably, two prominent YouTubers were locked out of their Twitter. Um, several. Well, because, yeah, you got Venti, you had the quartering for a hot second, you had Yellow Flash, Camelot. Goddamn, I can't even remember all the motherfuckers that got snatched up on this. And then, yeah, over on the YouTube side, and numerous YouTube videos were censored. No, just taken right down. Mines and Eliza Blue did not immediately respond to requests for comment. Yo, mine shouldn't be taking any L's for this. Like, I would imagine Blue's probably gonna spin it and it's like, I got so many death threats and I just needed to pull out from a live event and I was being cancelled by Mines because they wanted to try to hold me accountable. It was like, just hold your L, keep working until 2050 when you're, what, 90 years old and I'm sure he'll be talking about geriatric issues at that point in time. Oh, uh, it's just, just fun. It is fun to just uh, walk down memory lane for a second. Eliza, you've been good to the channel. You brought a lot of good attention. You've been a very good advocate for many people that are out there. And it's so nice to give you a proper send off so you can just go back to anonymity, reinvent yourself, and then just come back as a raging SJW in about a year's time. How about that? Sounds about right. So with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.